<laughs> Five Steps McCoy here. Yeah, I'm back. I'm doing the Papal Ninja Instagram takeover. Just look at the, the new post. Oh, there's another camera over there. What? Ah! Check out the new post. Uh, Sean Bryan has a twin brother. Yes, Biceps McCoy. He's a twin. He's not actually Sean Bryan. The first time Sean Bryan decided to wear a beard, and then he thought, hmm, let's let's have fun with this while I'm cutting it off. I mean, I'm just going a little stir crazy here. Maybe it is because of the so, lockdown. So Biceps has a bicep, right? Biceps McCoy has biceps. This all came about from a friend who just said, Sean, you need to have uh, another name. And he said, and he proposed the name Biceps McCoy. This all happened from that one video that you actually posted on, on your YouTube channel, a little clip uh, when Akbar was like, my goodness, look at those biceps. My goodness, look at those biceps. That's a swole ninja right there. I see you. <laughs> so I thought it was pretty funny. He thought it was funny. I'm having fun with it. It's fun. It helps me uh, express myself in a different way and it helps me connect with different kind of people, a uh, different side of my personality coming out. And uh, yeah, having fun with it. It basically means like I, as Biceps McCoy, aren't going to just show off my biceps. I have to, uh, my biceps alone show themselves off. Okay. So, okay. so, so this uh, is usually not my personality. I, I'm, I don't really do that kind of thing, but I could pretend as if it's someone else's personality and make fun of it, basically. So what are we going to do today? Uh, we're going to cook. Can oh. you say it, what, you, what we're going to make? Um, I actually wrote it down because I keep saying it wrong. Hold on. <laughs> Agacado queso tender dia. And because you don't like queso, you don't like that. Oh, I, see, I'm slipping back into the... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm slipping back into the biceps uh, outfit, like the whole thing. Anyway, since you don't like uh, cheese, we could leave out the queso. So we could have a Agacado tender dia for you. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. We have tortillas. I'll get after yeah. I make the first one, I'll make the second it's, one for you. It's very American, right? Yep, very American. <laughs> one for the eggs, one for the uh, quesadilla. Eggs. Okay. Eggs. We have frozen chicken tenders because it's faster to do this way. And uh, I guess Tyson's a pretty good brand. It's 100% chicken, so it's not like mixed between all these other ingredients. So or... this video not sponsored. No, it's not. But I do recommend finding a brand that does not have all these other crazy ingredients in it. Uh, simply chicken and breading that's basically what we're, what we're doing here okay we're actually cooking these in an air fryer Whoosh. don't look in there it's kind of dirty i should clean it first i'm gonna clean it let's cut the air crisper turn it up to i don't know 12 minutes 375 Sounds good. What if I don't have this thing? How can I make the first step? If you don't have an air fryer, you could use a deep fryer. You could use um, a regular pot and pan. You could fry it on there. You could put it in an oven or a conventional oven like this. Or if you really had to, you could use a microwave, but it's not as crispy and we really want crispy for this. So yeah. try to make it crispy. Actually, people ask me if we live in together. If, what, what is your response? I said, no, we're not living together. <laughs> <laughs> we're quarantined together though. Uh, yeah. A little. <laughs> yeah. So. Very important to pre-warm the pans. So I'm putting them on medium, medium heat, medium heat. Very important. Pre-warm the pans. Can you do it one thing? I tried, but I'm not that good. I don't really cook often. This, this uh, whisk is very big. I can't find my little whisk right now. Splash. Maybe a tiny bit more. There we go. There we go. If you're doing something cooking wise that you're familiar with, it's a lot less stressful and more and Enjoy easier more. to have fun. Yeah. Enjoyable. Yes. It's not even warm. I'll turn it up a little bit. <laughs> it's a lot easier to cook with a gas stove. I'm not a fan of electric, but this is what the house came yeah, with. Yeah, that's so. what I'm saying on, on the Borscht video. Yeah. Very light. Very light. Next. Oh, you put the cheese on the top of this. Yes, cheese is and, important for quesadilla. And here you lost me. <laughs> um, mm, a lot of people fold the quesadilla right away and melt the cheese inside. I say just put a top on it. I got this from my friend Manuel. Love it. Cold oil, hot plate. Here we go. Put those eggs in. Cover it up, the lower side of medium. Okay. Just hold off on that, all right? Just hold off, just wait. Just allow it to cook, just allow it to cook. Okay, this is about cooking part. What about the athletic part? Oh, athletic, what do you want to do? Look over here, we're about halfway done cooking. We could flip them over. 
And because this air fryer is so awesome, you could be just careful. And it's okay to stick your hand in there. You flip over the chicken legs, but chicken do, legs. Do, do you miss to flip over your body? Do I miss it? Yeah. Oh no, we, we did a lot of that recently, but I'll do more. Are you ready? <laughs> I don't think I can flip inside the kitchen though. Okay, the challenge, flip inside the kitchen. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm you serious. Really? Can you lift your hand? That's, Easy. That's low. Easy. Um, I'm taking this off the heat a little bit because it's almost ready. You see how the it's already melted? It's almost ready. So I want to leave the heat kind of adjusted where it's at. Just taking it off while I do my back flip, then I'll put it back on. Checking the eggs, you can see the eggs here. It's cooking pretty well. It's just a little bit of uh, liquid eggs on top. Not quite ready to get the liquid underneath yet. I've always been trained to go high on a backflip. Okay, wait a second. This could be very bad, you know. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so scary. Oh, man. How close was I? I didn't see. It wasn't close, actually. Oh, but I put my hands down, so it didn't count. Do you want to see the footage first? No, I'll do, we'll do one more. I'll, I'll just do it quicker. <laughs> <laughs> That's just as scary as the second one. I want to see the footage. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm taking this guy. Get it up off the plate. Can you flip like a cook? You know, like mm, using pump? That's, that's not the plan for this one. So I've taken all that extra stuff that hasn't cooked, get it underneath. Oh, it's almost cooked actually. Let's take it off the heat. No more heat for you. Leave this on the top and it will be ready to slide on top of the quesadilla in a second. Now, one more important thing on the quesa, on the quesadilla. See, I switched back in my, uh, <laughs> in, the, in, in, my bicep, in my, in my biceps, uh, biceps McCoy speak. Yeah. Extra virgin olive oil. Top secret ingredient. This is for quesadilla. Be very careful not to put too much on. Put it on and then you could. What are you doing? Real cooks use their hands. You just touch the floor. On the back. <laughs> this is my quesadilla. <laughs> Almost ready. Little extra virgin olive oil spray. Makes it a little bit more crispy in the last two minutes. Garlicky rub. I like garlic. Garlicky. Lots of garlicky. My dad made this rub. It's a meat rub, but it's useful for all sorts of different seasonings. I like a little bit of hot. What is it? Crushed red pepper. Oh, okay. Ooh, extra pepper sounds good. Take the eggs. You plop the eggs in there. Ready for the chicken tenders? One. Mm -hmm. There we go. And ready for this? We're gonna flip it over and it's gonna look like a quesadilla. Oh, it's so crispy. I can hear how it's crunchy. Yes. It's mm. a very thick quesadilla. And that's why you call it a fusion because it's not quite Mexican looking, right? <laughs> Doesn't quite look Mexican. It looks very American, actually. I'm not a big fan of cheese because I don't eat cheese in general, but I can take a chicken. Yeah, we have plenty of leftover chicken for you. Yeah. <laughs> bon appetit. Bon appetit. Yeah, and it's a chocolate milk. <laughs> Sean, 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 one more question. Uh, do you, uh, can you name the dish again? The um, egg cut. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Where is the <laughs> avocado? <laughs> oh man, we should just eat avocado by itself. You okay. Want, you want to split one? Okay. <laughs>